All right, so we got my man, my superstar client, John, a friend of mine. Uh, we've been working together for about five months now. Uh, he's just about his experience working with me and even talk, talk a little bit about like what things were like before. Like, what were you for to lose the weight, get in shape before we started? Okay, well, at the end of the day, I was sitting here and um, re, uh, reflecting on uh, the journey, be, you know, the journey that you know, was before, before we connected and uh, very little result. I'm sitting here and I'm working out four to uh, five times going to the gym. You know, didn't miss a day, but the thing about it was I'm sitting up here and I'm yet seeing this belly, yet seeing no results whatsoever. And so the thing about it is I had a concept, but no route. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes we can have concepts, but don't have the map or the directions. So again, I just did not have a route directional wise or really even understanding what it was. Uh, that I was trying to really achieve. It was a good thing, but I guess going back to when I think about it now and stuff, uh, you know, lack of knowledge, you know, uh, causes people to perish. And it's not that people perish, it's just that your vision don't really manifest or come into fruition because of the fact is, is that there is knowledge that is lacking, the route is lacking, you can have concepts. So the concept was very, mu uh, was very much there, but I was lacking route and I'm seeing everybody that else around me, okay, they got abs and I'm still with this stomach and I'm going to the gym four to five days a week. Wow. And I'm sitting up here like, what is going on? Some, so I kept on and I just didn't have a clue. I never thought in terms of, Okay, well, you really need to get a trainer. You really need to ask somebody. And I'm sitting up here like, well, let me just go on ahead and frivolously buy. Him. And so, but again, it was still no results at, at the end of the day. So I had a concept, but no route. It was like the analogy that I often use. I had a ladder, but no steps. <laughs> and right, when you right. sit up here, you're trying to use a ladder and you have no steps to the you're not going to go anywhere or really climb to where you need to be so again it was like you know the results the whole thing before we crossed is is that i was had this ladder and was going to the gym and just life in itself i'm sitting here like a ladder but no steps. Yeah, right. So yeah. where was I gonna go? Absolutely nowhere. <laughs> I like that. Exactly. Right. So okay. So now, yeah. since we have started, like, what changes have you experienced in your life overall? Like clothes, or how people treat you. Like, what what have you noticed that has changed outwardly because of the change you've made with your own body, your own health? Well, I'm gonna tell you something, and is I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna share something with you funny at the end. Um, I say that what this has done and what this journey has done, it has definitely put the steps to the ladder. It has definitely put the steps mm. to the ladder. And it's just not so much the working out or just the fitness, but it's just the concept and the route that I have mentioned that life is going to and that you can feel about yourself. You can feel better about your body. Uh, you can look forward to living life um, to the fullest. And so at the end of the day and stuff, um, I have uh, noticed so many changes uh, with myself feeling better. It's like a lot of times and stuff, I'm sitting up here and I'm going to the mirror. Is that you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. amazing. And, and I look, yeah, that's you. And at the end of the day, I'm sitting up here like, I have had out uh, and I'm in the middle of changing my wardrobe out a second time now. After about a month of seeing results, people started noticing, okay, what are you doing differently? We're seeing, you know, this physique or whatever. 
And so I'm sitting there feeling like, okay, wow. So again, I was feeling and still feel and started really feeling better about who I was and looking at things uh, different from so many different perspectives. And uh, the thing about it is the way you treat your body, what I'm finding out, the way you treat your body is how you're going to life. Mm. people uh I, I have really literally come to really know that in these months is, is that the way that I treat my body is an indicativeness of, of what I'm going to uh treat life as if you don't invest in your body you're not going to invest in life that's wow. the thing that I've come to really know uh, that at the end of the day, if you don't think your body is the investment, then what you're really saying is, is that at the end of the day, is, is that life is not a life is not worth the investment. Your life is not worth the investment. So again, when I compassed mm -hmm. all that together, I started looking at life in a more balanced direction and route is what I would say. Uh, the clothes wow. is definitely God, fitting and just, you know, and so people is like really noticing this different. And so the funny story was I met this lady and uh, well, actually two ladies, two incidents, but it's kind of, kind of like the same concept. They was like, okay, hey, man, I want to see you with your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of was like, and it was kind of like flattering to me. It really was because I'm sitting up here like, wow. I never had anybody that say that to recently. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it was like I said to myself, oh, oh my God. God. So I mean, you know, this one lady, and, and, and one of them lives next door to me. And so, oh, so she, she has found out what my name is and everything. So I'm like, wow, I'm feeling somewhat a little bit attractive or whatever, you know, so I'm trying to kind of like, you know, in, you know, in perspective, because again, you know, I'm not trying to get the big head, but it was just something, it did something to me as a person, because again, being the age I'm at, being the age I am, I just felt so insecure and looking at younger guys and looking at, you know, how they are, you know, and here it is, you know, I'm looking at, okay, okay, John, you're all washed up and you're this and that. But at the same time, you know, it was just so funny. I was uh, uh, in the, and somebody actually thought that I was like maybe in my thirties and, you wow. know, and I'm sitting here like, okay, how they think that. And so I'm looking, you know, and it just really did something for me to know that, okay, John, you made the right decision and the right investment to do this. And it's a sacrifice, but at the mm. same time and stuff, mm. if you make the sacrifice because how you treat your body literally is how you're going to treat life. If you think nothing of your right. body, you're gonna not gonna think anything of life. And you can tell what people think of life by looking at their body. Wow. I have that found that I, so I really I have really found that to be true in this journey. And so I've been kind of just writing things down that I'm noticing about me that I see that, you know, as life you know, happens, you've got to really be on a bad route, just not any route, but have the crowd because, you know, and what you put into your body is, you know, how you're going to feel. So that's been uh, some of my, some of my, uh, uh, I mean, it, it, it has been really flattering, but I had to share a funny story about the ladies and stuff that was wanting me, wanting to see my, wanting to see me with my clothes on. <laughs> because I, I really yeah, thought that was crazy. really, well, it was accepted and stuff, but it really was like, I said, oh, oh, okay. So again, uh, that's been, you know, some of, some of the things that's been happening since being on the fitness journey. Awesome, brother. Yeah, no, that, that's amazing because those type of things, they just show the uncertainty. Like they shows that when you're on an uncertain path, you get different results. 
right? You could, we didn't, we were having this conversation. You were anticipating those things. You were just going one day at a time, making your best better than your better, something like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically my, my where, good where you, becomes my better, and my better becomes my best. <laughs> yes, exactly. There we go. So, so you can't really anticipate pay all of you on that type of a journey so that's phenomenal so now what would you say because i know when we first communicated um you were so nervous you were on the fence well i don't, I don't say you were on the fence but you were more nervous about the decision because you know things were tight so what would you say to anyone who's like man i, I don't know i gotta wait things are tight right now like what would you say to someone who really needed this but things were tight. What would you say? I would tell them, I have seen the tightest of the tightest. <laughs> I have, I have literally um, said to myself, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I literally woke up and how do I make this work? And one thing that I found out on this journey that I didn't know at first, but I know now. Is, is that you have to learn to celebrate solutions. You have to learn to celebrate solutions. And that at the end of the day, problems makes us significant. At the end of the day, this particular challenge or what you might be facing as trying to get this or trying to make this work from budget standpoint, uh, maybe scheduling. I will share with you that at the end of the day, you're the greatest investment that you can make in you. Mm. And you will find a way when you seek not to, when you stop looking at all the, all the excuses of why not. Uh, we make time for what we want to do. We make time. And at the end of the day, you should exactly. make time for you. You are your greatest investment. There's only one at the end of the day. Uh, I'm enjoying the journey. And like I said, at the end of the day, I get up every day. You got you to gotta make it work. You got to make it work. That, that's, that's amazing. And I agree, you know, like if you're not going to put money in yourself, then who's going to put any money up on you? Right? It, it's so crucial to make that investment that's right. for sure. So like, I appreciate right. you, man, like without, right. without your consistency, like I always tell people that you're literally a model of listening to all of the things I tell you that you need to do, you know, like not everyone does that. And that's why you've seen such wow. a significant transformation. And I, I really commend you, brother. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for um, sharing your story and we'll talk soon. All right. Okay, then. Thank you. All right, my man. God bless. God bless. All right. Bye-bye.